Ooh. Ba ba because ba because ba because ah oh. Hey guys, sorry I didn't finish the vlog last night, so I made it to Wiley Shelter, which is at 1454.6 miles. I did about 25.6 miles walking. It was a semi tough day, it was mentally more tough than anything else. It was day 69 yesterday, but we made it here, which is all good. Um, so now, today, it is. 30 days to go people. It is Friday, uh, 11th of August, 7.22 in the morning. I need to get up, I need to get walking. I've got to do 25 miles at a minimum. A couple of exciting things, we're going to be walking crossing the, from New York uh, State into Connecticut, which is going to be exciting, doing that quite early. Um, yeah, that's the first exciting thing. I'll keep you updated on what else is going to happen. But, uh, just in my tent. I need to get up and get moving. Okay, I'm still having a problem with my finger. It's like, it's like nerve damage, I think, from holding my thing. It's just on this one where I just can't seem to like straighten it. It's like that's like its resting position now, which is really odd. Okay, let's get up. Let's get moving. Let's get going. Thirty days to go and I've still got a lot of miles to cover. 8.22 in the morning, and it's always good to make a little bit of progress. So we've made it to uh, Hoyt Road, which is just there. I'm just gonna find a place to sit down, take my jacket off, um, and just check out, because I need to resupply, because I don't have that much food left, about where the easiest place to resupply is. Everyone keeps talking about these delis. I don't know where these delis are, because I don't seem to be seeing any of them or finding any of them. So um, yeah, I need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, here looks like, oh, actually let me work out where. Okay, well I need to figure out where I'm going next, but um, I'm gonna sit here and just sort myself out. So Hoyt Road is actually the border between New York State and Connecticut. Here it is. Welcome to Connecticut Gateway to New England. I feel as though I'm making progress, guys. Ticking off all of these states is awesome. We've still got quite a few to go, like New Hampshire, Vermont, Vermont, Vermont you know what I mean, uh, Maine, Massachusetts. So, boom, let's go do this. We've just reached the top of 10 Mile Hill. Elevation 1,000 feet. How is this day 70? Oh my goodness, 30 days to go, folks. 30 days to to do this. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm struggling mentally with it. <sighs> this is just so tough. And I know I've only got 30 days to reach. <sighs> I feel so exhausted and tired. I, I know it's gonna get tougher and I'm getting weaker. What's your name? Pantry. Pantry. Where are you from? Vermont. Vermont. What are you doing out on the Appalachian Trail? Um, I'm hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you start? Uh, in Georgia. In Georgia. How's it going? It's been great. What's been the highlight so far? Um, I got a violin in Harper's Ferry. It's been pretty fun to have. That's amazing. What's been most challenging? Uh, I've had a few minor injuries, tendonitis in my knees and feet. Okay, what advice would you have for other women who want to get out on the Appalachian Trail? Uh, definitely do it. <laughs> do you do it? Any other advice? Uh, not really. Not really? No, that's awesome. Thanks, Pantry.
guys, so happy right now. Just hitched the lift. It's only half a mile, but I made it to Bullsbridge County store, country store. And oh my God, the van inside is just so super lovely. We've got tables out here. He said there's a charger. There's apparently Wi-Fi, which I'm gonna check out. Got myself some, uh, some juice. I've got some resupply, I've got some food. So this is gonna sort me right out. I'm very excited. Whoo! I'm making myself a chocolate spread sandwich which I'm very excited about then for afters I'm gonna have a piece of carrot cake and then I don't think I'm gonna show you what else I've got in here oh, really. sweets and cakes and yeah all that good stuff guys so you know how like my soya bag has like ripped and I've just been using this plastic bottle look what this wonderful gentleman has given me I've just literally basically like hey he's heading off the trail I was like what do you filter with he's like a filter soya filter I was like can I have it give it to me oh uh, what's your name I'm Bon Appetit Bon Appetit Bon Appetit is a total legend oh my god oh yay tribe our luck is changing this wonderful gentleman what's your name sir John John is going to be giving us a lift back to the trail. This is Parakeet over there. He likes, uh, she likes seeds and stuff. So, oh, what a brilliant, brilliant day. I've resupplied, I've got food, I've eaten, I've got some vitamin water, which is rolling away. Um, we are good to go. We're going up there. Tribe, another marker. 1,470 miles in, we've reached oh, Caleb's peak, it's 10 past five. Um, we've got 10 miles to go. Uh, changing my mindset, my positivity, and less trying to, less crying. <laughs> and I know I've been crying. I feel as though I've been crying a lot. And I feel as though the emotions have just been getting to me. And this is a mental game now. And my mindset hasn't been in the right place, but I am the only person who is in charge of my mindset. And I can't continue to have these negative thoughts and think about not completing it. Do you know what I've got to do? I've just got to get on with it. I can't think about the next 30 days. I've got to think about today, um, the next section, the next mile, the, even like the next step and I can't let it get away from me. I've just got to do what I can do every single day. And yeah, I, need, I know I need to hit 25 miles a day. And you know what? If I need to start night hiking, that's what I'm going to have to do. If I need to start setting an alarm in the morning to get up earlier, that's what I'm going to have to do. And I'm going to have to start pulling these things out. Be oh, bah! Because, oh, because I can't... I, ha I have to do this. There's no, there's no question about what I need to do. I set the goal, I set the challenge. I knew it was gonna be tough, but I need to do what I need to do to, to get there. So yeah, let's just change perception, change mindset, and let's just make this happen. Right, 10 miles more to go. This is the type of train I'm facing. So camera away focus time and let's just get on and do it okay hey guys so it is about 7 30 at the moment it's going to start getting dark soon and i've realized that i've been completely rubbish at um ending the vlog um so if i don't speak to you again before today is over I just want to say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all the comments the likes please do subscribe um massive thank you to flynn as well who's been editing all of this footage whether i end the vlog or not and my, or my whether it's shaky he just puts together these incredible videos so big shout out to flynn all my links are down below Please do keep following along. 30 more days to go until um, Mount Katahdin. Fingers crossed I make it by the 10th of September. And uh, thank you again for all your support. All right, lots of love. Bye.